Hello my friends, welcome to my channel where I make affinity fun and easy to learn. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your photos and you can make them pop like this inside of Affinity Studio, right? These same techniques I've used several times for my posters and it's going to be something I'm going to teach you in this video. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so that I don't miss any video I'm dropping anytime from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So you can see I have the image of the image I'm going to use. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J here. I'm going to hide this one and I'm going to focus on this one on top here. Right? So a couple of things we're going to do, but first things first, make sure you select the image. And most times the mistake that you, I'm in the Pixel Studio, so move to the Pixel Studio. Most times what people do is you don't select the image. That's why you don't see the develop and every other command. So make sure you select the image first before you see this, right? And you can also see the AI functions inside of this application. So click on develop like this. And what you want to do here is we're going to work on a couple of things. I'm going to start from, okay, yes, clear it. So I'm going to take this all up to 100 like this. And I'm going to increase the saturation like this, right? So I'm going to provide a link to this image in the description of this video. So you can actually follow along, right? So I'm going to click develop. Now, this is the first thing I would do here, right? So that's the first step. So step number one, step number two, I'm going to select this and select the curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to move this up like this, like this, right? And when you're done, just close this. Well, it has added the curves to the old image and I don't want that. So click on mask, and mask it out, right? Click on the mask and click on invert mask, right? So you can see the changes. So I'm just going to go to the pen brush and you can copy my settings for the pen brush and I'm going to move in. Okay. I'm going to swap this to the black from because I'm working on the black mask. Swap it to white to reveal all of this, to reveal the curves and the eye region here, and the eye region here, on this part also, and on this part also like this, right? Yeah, I'm just going to focus on the areas that have lights, right? So that's the essence now. I'm just going to accentuate all these areas that have lights like this. And, um, of course, this region here. And, um, of course, um, you can make your brush smaller to cover some areas. And, uh, I think areas like this should have the light effects. And, um, yeah, basically the areas that need light. So I can increase this. You can see that when I'm increasing, I'm only increasing on areas that have the lights already, right? So basically, this is the first thing I need to do. So click the X and um, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to adjustment. This time I'm going to go to exposure, right? Um, using exposure to add some shadows to this on the areas that needs to have shadows right so i'm going to invert click on the mask select the mask right click and click on invert mask like this and of course you can see that my brush is ready i just have to make it smaller and apply the shadows to areas that needs the shadow right so you can see the settings of my brush the same settings please and the eye region here places like this shadows and on this region here on this part here shadows and yep and at the tip of the hair here shadows also and somewhere around here just apply some shadows to this okay So, um, yes, now that we've gotten that, 
we just have to make a snapshot right click and click on merge visible this makes a snapshot of your entire layer right merge visible so this is on top this is a good method so when we have to go back and change things we can actually go back and effect those changes so clicking on this this time we're using clarity increase the clarity again uh, this time i'm not getting to the 100 the details now select detail refinements i'm going to increase my radius like this 24 and the amount i'm going to keep somewhere here right so if you have a different image this might just vary right but just make sure you follow my process for this so i'm just going to leave this here and uh, click on develop when i'm done like this you can see that this has added additional details to what we have before right so i have this now i want to work on making the skin soft and delicate that's poster effect style so what do i do i need to duplicate this layer so ctrl j to make a duplicate copy of this layer what you need to do is go back to the develop and this time we're going to be working on noise reduction so i'm going to bump up luminance like this you can see i have this smooth skin effect kind of like going on right so i'm going to reduce the luminance details so i don't have it too much and uh, i think somewhere around here is good for me and good for the image also so when you are done with everything um click on develop but the catch is i'm not going to apply this effect to the whole of this image so click on the mask and i'm going to invert the mask right click and invert mask like this i'm only going to paint in those things on the areas i need it so select the brush this is what i mean select the brush like this and i'm just going to paint in on the areas that needs that effect you can see when i zoom in closer i'm going to throw in the effects here and um, make sure you avoid areas like the um the tip of the nose, the eyes, the eyelashes, and um, the lips, the tip of the lips, the teeth, and just focus on the skin area, right? And um, leave all those areas that I mentioned. Okay, so these areas are smooth enough. So let's continue with this part here. Continue with the same effect. Smoothing this up. Smoothing this up like this. And um, yep. This has done what I want. Just, this is just perfect for what I want. Okay. Okay, so this is done. So I'm just going to create adjustment layer. Go to adjustment layer. This time I'm going to use curves again. Oh no, let me use brightness and contrast. I'm going to increase the brightness like this. And I'm also going to increase the contrast. Please increase the contrast like this. Right? So now that I have this, I'm going to mask this out. The beauty of this um, making images pop is how to use your mask and how to use your mask well. So I'm going to invert this and I'm only going to paint on the highlighted areas, which is the areas that have lights. Right? Like the eyes, the tip here, um, the eyes here, I'm going to make them pop more. So this is the essence of having image that is actually popped you can see that using my brush along these lines is making the effects come out more so areas here i'm going to make them bright with contrasts also somewhere here too and also i'm going to make my brush big and i'm going to make these areas also bright with a touch of contrast like this okay 
great. This is just super amazing, right? From where we started and where we are now. So you can add this to your compositions and it just has a way of transforming your composition to basic, to, norm to normal, to pro level kind of effects, right? And um, one thing I can also do to this again, which is it, you might not be needing this. Let me just um, merge visible again so that I have a standard layer on its own again, everything I've done. I can just come here to Canva AI and um, use um, the portrait lighting, right? To get that overall lighting effect that I need. So when you analyze the image, this is what I'm going to have. So you can change your light source by moving this from this point here. You can move it up. You can move it to this point here. But I'm just going to leave mine because um, the camera focus is on the middle like this. So I'm going to leave this somewhere here and press OK when I'm done. And as you can see, I have my image ready for my poster or ready for any spot thing that I need to do. So I went from boring to what you have here guys so if you've liked this video and you've gained something valuable from this make sure you don't click away and make sure you're subscribed to this channel give it a like give it a thumbs up share this video i'll see you in the next video ciao